Uh, welcome to the video tutorial on BNC connectors and how to make them, how to join them, how to strip them, and what tools to use. As you can see here, we're going to be using the crimpler. Uh, this is what we use to actually strip the cable. This is a connector to join both cables together. If you're going to, you know, make a make them longer, or actually, this is actually to put this actually to the TV for an RCA. So let me get right to the video real quick. I wanted to show you what not to buy. This this is a BNC that that's really hard to deal with. Uh, they're really cheap. You know, you gotta open them, solder it. I mean, this is, in my opinion, not pretty good. So we're gonna cut them. We're gonna use these. We get them at Home Depot for like uh, eight dollars for four. So we're gonna use the stripper here. I call it. We'll put it here. And we'll turn it a couple times. You can get this on eBay. This tool is amazing. So it makes like two strips, right? The first one you peel it out, and the second one is where the ground is. So you take it, peel it backwards, peel it back actually, put it in the hole. You can feel it actually go in. We'll push it in, and you can see it. So one of the ways to see if you actually made it inside correctly is taking it out and if it's bent that meant that you win you didn't you missed the hole. So you got yourself a problem there. So we'll put it back in. I like to kind of like push it so slow that it'll just fall in. So we're going to see if it made contact. What we'll use is a continuity to make sure that there was a connection. Right. So we'll take both ends. We'll take both ends and make sure that they're actually connecting. So when you connect them, you don't have any loss of signal. Because once you use the crimpler, there's no way to get back but destroy the VNC so you see how it didn't do the two lines what we're gonna do is cut it we'll make sure that we put this in the right way and it has a little picture here that it's facing that way so we'll put it right in there you go make it a couple twists you'll hear it as long as it makes two of these you're perfect there we go so what we'll do is we'll grab the meter, we'll make a continuity, see if it did connect, and we'll pop that in here, and if it beeps, there's, there's a connection. There you go, success. That's what success looks like. So we're going to go ahead again, peel it back, make the other side of the connector. What am I doing? Putting it the other way? Come on now. So we'll softly, gently... Make sure it falls in and push it back. There you go. You see that? First try. We'll make sure that we have a good connection by testing again the continuity. Um, it's kind of difficult to do it, but we'll see how we can do this. If I had an extra hand, we can do this correctly, but we'll work with what we have so far. So right there we'll make sure we don't touch the metal because that's the ground well this is kind of difficult all right let's do it we believe in each other come on come on guys give me some positive reinforcement it's supposed to be oh why don't, why don't we do this measure it there you go look at that what school did i go to again I'm not gonna promote it today, so anyways. You guys can look find my LinkedIn. There you go, so it's beeping, that means we have a connection. Let's try the ground now. Oh one hit wonder, ladies and gentlemen. We are there. So there you have it. That's how you make a um a BNC connector. We're gonna crimp it now using the crimpler. There you go, perfect. 
So now we know that we have a good connection. So this is a crimpler, around thirty dollars online. What you do is pull it, put these little two things here, back, put the BNC connector right there, and what this will do is it'll squeeze the wire in so it doesn't come out. So we'll press on it. There you go. And we got just we got ourselves a nice connector right there. Now if you connect this on your DVR and you you notice that there's a kind of doesn't want to kind of like go correctly in the DVR then you must have put this a little too high. So you guys can gradually do it while you go. And you know it takes practice. Definitely want to invest in these tools for a professional setup. Again, there you go. We are all set. So the tools that we use was the crimpler, the starter lineup, thirty to thirty dollars around there. This one's like fifteen bucks online. It's, uh, made from Ken Tools, I think. Yeah. Model number V as in Violet, D as in David, V as in Violet again, 110-061RG-59 uh, stripper, I can I call it. Not those that you guys are used to out there. And there you have it. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Any Anytime we can save people time, it's a great idea. Don't forget to subscribe. Look at the links down below in the description for a uh, full detail of the things that we talked about today, alright? So hopefully you guys learned something again. My name is Joshua from Jerez Electronics and I am signing out. Goodbye.